this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming to another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video, supporting the channel and everything. appreciate everything that y'all do. Leaving good comments. Um, you know, helping out the two-way community. So I appreciate that. And if you're watching my channel, you the star and I'm just the mess. I'm just the every citizen trying to uphold the Constitution, defend the Second Amendment. That is the prize over here. Now, with that said, I just want to give you some uh, quick information when it comes to red flag laws. Now, a lot of headlines and stuff out there. And right now, we have a serious threat to when it comes to older men. So to my men, 55 and older, our seniors and stuff out here who live alone. You have increased crime and when it comes to burglary and stuff like that. And when it comes to seniors, they need to defend themselves too. And, you know, the problem is the red flag laws, um, um, risk protection orders are targeting seniors. And, you know, I've been talking about this and it's getting worse. You have uh, watching this, uh, looking at a study from UCLA or something that um, the red flag laws um, they're using against males, pretty much, you know, men, uh, 55 and older. And what they're saying is that, you know, they're targeting um, the red flag laws are targeting older men. And it's pretty much um, because they are risk for suicide and stuff like that. So they're saying that uh, red flag laws has pretty much um, dropped suicide rate. But, you know, with all that said, that is bull. I'm talking about they're using it as an excuse to, gun to confiscate guns from seniors. I've been reading plenty of articles and did articles in the past last year of, you know, you have family member, a neighbor, somebody concerned about an older man who's stand alone, um, you know, mind his own business. Um, you know, there are situations where you have older men who ran gun shops, they're single or, you know, you know, they were, you know, gun sellers and stuff like that. And they have a lot of, you know, surplus farms and um, ammunition and stuff at the home and stuff that have not bothered nobody. But because people are so worried up and, you know, concerned about this um, older male and mostly they're targeting males versus um, females. But when they're worried about this single older male or whatever in the home. So they go get a court order and the police goes and confiscate all his ammunition and guns and all this kind of stuff. And then because he's a senior, don't have a whole lot of money. He don't have the money to go get a lawyer, go fight it. To get his stuff back, and most time they pretty much don't fight it, just give up. And guess what? They done took their ammunition and the farms and done confiscated for the senior. This been happening way too much, and they're using this excuse to confiscate farms from older people. And that's what they're doing. They're abusing our seniors in this country with this red flag law. And I just want to make y'all aware of this. Pay attention to this, people. I'm to my, I'm to my, I've been, I said this last year, and it has got worse. I'm talking about because you have a lot of older men, they're stand alone and, you know, they have farms, whether they ran a gun shop or not, or, you know, retired and stuff from the gun shows or whatever the case may be. But, you know, where they just collected farms and stuff over, you know, the time of, the, you know, their lifetime and stuff. And then they're older and you have so many people concerned. The red flag laws um, brought a lot of people into the, the net of this red flag law, such as your family member, your neighbors, your doctor, your uh, about everybody. They brought everybody in for this particular reason here so they can come and confiscate your gun. They're using a broader net system. They're using everybody, the surrounding people around you to confiscate your gun. So instead of just having one person or this particular issue and stuff, they bring a whole bunch of people in and broaden the issue so it will be easy to confiscate your farm. But this need to stop. They're targeting seniors and stuff like that to confiscate and take farms away from them. And they're using these suicide um, pretty much uh, studies and everything to increase that. So um, I just want to bring that to your attention and everything. We're going to stay on top of this. I'm going to keep um, talking about these studies and stuff that's out there. They're just throwing darts at the dartboard and they're just trying to, you know, give somebody some reason to pretty much that make the case that, hey, if you got grandpa, granddad, or whoever, and he's standing alone, he got a lot of farms, and you're very concerned, you don't hear nothing from him, and stuff like that, and, you know, go do a, you know, some type of checkup and everything. So what they do, the police come check and, you know, get a court order so they can go and confiscate the farms and everything, do a wellness checkup, and there you go. I'm talking about they take his ammunition, they take his farm. I have seen studies after studies, case after case, it's the same thing. 
And because they're older, don't have enough money, they can't fight the courts and everything, and they keep the weapons and they're going to keep the ammunition. So granddad and grandpa don't get it back. This is a great form of gun confiscation, and it's continued to grow and grow and grow on our seniors. So I just want to let y'all know about that. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.